Hello, hello, and welcome back to Hitman. And in this series, we are, will go back to where it all started. And this time round, we will focus on completing as many of the challenges as we can on each and every one of the primary Hitman targets. With maybe a few interesting bonus kills on the way. So today we are in Paris and we will be taking care of the Bad Habits Challenge which entails killing Dahlia Margolis with a heater lamp explosion. So this will be a fun one. Uh, because this is classed as an accident kill we will also get ourselves the Someone Could Hurt Themselves Challenge. Uh, you can get this in a number of ways, there are many accident kills. So for today's challenge the only thing we need to be bringing with us will be our silence pistol primarily for the surveillance system. So with that all said let's have a quick reintroduction to our target. Dahlia Margolis, a retired supermodel, two of the most dangerous people in the world. Dahlia Margolis, beautiful and brilliant. She is a master manipulator and the true brains behind Iago. Yeah. I do know how you love a challenge. I will leave you to prepare. So, right from the start and off the bat, what we're going to do is make our way into the palace ahead of us. Uh, the first thing we're going to acquire will be a Yago Invitation and then from there we'll pick up a few other little bits along the way as we make our way up the stairs. So into the palace to the right of the central staircase through the doors on our right through the doors on our right and into the cubicle on our left and in here on the counter we will find a Yago Invitation so once we have that we're going to retrace our steps back to the entrance hall and we're going to make our way down into the basement and down here we're going to collect up a few items so at the bottom of the stairs we're going to turn left and we're going to grab this wrench and then we're going to make our way into the changing rooms and around to our left and we will grab the uh, palace staff outfit and then through the changing rooms on our way to the pantry just on our right here we will find a crowbar we're going to grab that as well we're going to select our silence pistol make our way through the pantry and out the other side and take out the surveillance system just to our left and then we're going to make our way through to the kitchens and up the kitchen stairs and we're going to make our way up to the first floor where there is a tech guy, a crew member and we're going to render him unconscious and take his outfit so here he is, just be aware that if he's in the, motion, in the process of moving between locations it's best to hide on the stairs but once we have him unconscious and his outfit on we can make our way into the sound stage and collect the fireworks remote so once we have the fireworks remote we're going to make our way back around the way we came and into the large dining room area we're going to close the doors behind us and we're going to render the auction staff member present in the room unconscious we're going to take his outfit and then we're going to drop our gun on the floor because we are about to get frisked so we're then going to make our way through the length of the dining room and around to our right just close these doors behind us so his body isn't spotted uh, and we're going to go through our frisk zone sir if you want to proceed i'm going to have to do a quick routine check you nervous oh, don't be this is just a formality And you're good to go, thanks a lot. 
so once we are safely through the frisk zone we're going to make our way up the stairs and duck through the doors on our left into the attic area and around into this little side room just over here and in here we will find a couple of guards and if the guard is at this position by the window for you you can then sneak in render him unconscious we're going to grab his gun which is the bit we want the most of all we're going to take his outfit as well because we look much better in a suit and we're going to retrace our steps back towards the stairs and once we reach the stairs we're going to make our way across the corridor and into the auction room and through the auction room and out onto the balcony at the back of the building and then out here we're going to take our assault rifle here or our SMG we're going to place it on the floor select our crowbar and walk away as we throw our crowbar on the floor that's going to attract the attention of the bodyguard on guard out here and he will take the gun away in the meantime we're going to select the fireworks remote and approach the gas lamp heater here and once the guard's safe enough away we're going to then mess with the lamp heater and trigger the fireworks so the guard is now out of the way so when Dahlia comes along and while she's waiting for Victor she will light up a cigarette and that will ignite the gas thus causing a chemical and explosive reaction so with Dahlia now taken care of all that's left for us to do is to escape so we are going to vault over the end of the balcony here and down the drain pipe to the ground floor we're going to make our way into the building and down the kitchen stairs and out through the wine cellar exit so there we go that is the bad habits challenge along with someone could hurt themselves i have been anubis and i will see you all in the next video